वेलकम क्लास टोर लॉजिक डिजाइन यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू हैव ऑल एन्जॉयड आवर प्रीवियस सर्डवर्क टूटोरियल वीडियोज टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज इन सर्डवर्क टूटोरियल न्यू सीरीज टोटली बेस्ड ऑन सर्डवर्क एक्सरसाइज ऑफ थ्री डी मॉडलिंग विथ डिटेल्स इन दिस एक्सरसाइज सीरीज वी विल सी सम सिंपल मॉडल्स फर्स्टली देन सम completed models also so let's get started our today's topic be concentrated on our today's topic for some tips also for new part please press control plus n button from your computer keyboard now you will see on your computer screen new solidworks document window is now open you will see here three options are present first part second one assembly and third one drawing we need a part environment for 3d modeling okay so here i am clicking a part and then press okay okay now part environment is now open we will see here clearly now you can draw here your component step by step okay this is our first exercise in solidworks tutorial of 3d modeling this is locating finger usually this is used in jigsaw fixture so let's it draw in part environment first select top line for creating a bottom side first now control plus 3 button now create a base we need to create a 106 mm into 52 mm rectangle now smart dimensions 106 mm first then 52 mm okay now our sketch is fully defined because black color is appeared okay now extrude extrude up to 14 mm okay now click on okay then next we need to create a per part okay for that we need to create an plane for creating this is a per part select reference geometry option and select plane now select this face right side face now flip this okay up to 26 mm okay now create a sketch on this plane press control plus 4 for right view now create a sketch here i am creating random lines horizontal vertical then again horizontal then vertical okay give the annotations from smart dimensions okay this line is 5 mm this line is 16 mm and this line is 5 mm 6 mm 5 mm this line is 16 mm half portion in our drawing is now created next is arc arc is created by using arc command now select first point then second point and then third point and give it radius radius is 54 mm okay i am giving here 54 mm then okay trim unwanted part by using trim command give it dimensions now our sketch is fully defined because black color is now appear in our sketch now extrude it by using extrude command the extrude command is located in feature menu now first 
command is extrude now select it okay i am selecting here now extrude it up to 54 mm as per our drawing now hide it now next is back side of component now we need to create and reference circle of 532 mm now let's start the drawing by using sketch command now select sketch then select face that we want to sketch now for back side please click ctrl plus 2 now create and sketch now first create an center line for reference now select this line and select for construction that means for reference now again we need to create a convert entity for reference okay now we need to create an circle of 532 please select circle command and create a circle select center point for circle and give the radius to the circle 16 mm radius for circle that means 532 mm this circle also for our reference okay do it dimensions next is we need to create a tangent line as per our drawing now create a line please create a random line okay next is again create a line select line command then create a line now hold the control button and select line for tangent and again select circle and select tangent now extend this line to the next line okay now trim unwanted area and give annotations to these lines here i am giving 120 degree angle okay as per our drawing now our sketch is now fully defined again trim command for unwanted part now mirror these lines to right hand side of center line now select first mirror command here i am selecting mirror entities now select each and every line for mirror and select mirror about is center line now click on ok you will see here our sketch is ready for extrude cut this sketch is as per our drawing now again trim unwanted area okay now now change the property of this line from construction line to the line now select extrude cut command from feature menu the sketch is selected as per our drawing now click on ok for extrude cut command activate next is we need to create these four holes by using hole wizard for that we need to create and reference holes for hole wizard option select top face of component now create and random four circles okay here i am creating four circles randomly now give the smart dimensions to these circles these circles is located 13 mm distance from each side now give it 13 mm from each side 
now give hold radius 8 mm because it is clearly mentioned in our drawing rim for 8 mm dials two holes now again second circle this circle also 8 mm give it annotations then select these two circle centers for horizontal alignment and vertical alignment select first vertical alignment then this circle also vertical alignment please select circles by using control key hold control key for giving alignments Select circles for horizontal alignment. Now, again smart dimensions. This is 9 mm hole. This is also 9 mm hole. Give it 9 mm. Okay. Here I am giving all required dimensions to these holes. Now, go to the hole wizard for these holes. Please arrange these dimensions. Okay. Here I am arranging these dimensions. Now next is hole wizard. For that you need to go features and then hole wizard. Select features, then hole wizard, then hole specification window is now open. Specify all required dimensions, size, standard okay now select standard and symmetric type double holes as per our drawing then select the size 8 mm and end condition is throw all now select position then 3d sketch now select these centers of two walls then click ok now you can see here holes is now created of 8 mm okay next two holes of 9 mm diameter okay for that again hole wizard here i'm selecting hole wizard again now select size 9 mm these are all standard now we are need custom sizing for these 9 mm holes put 9 mm in custom sizing again same procedure for these two holes select position and then 3d sketch then select these two circles for hole then click ok now you can see here these two holes of 9 mm is now created ok next is chamfer for that we need to go jumper command now select these two edges then specify the distance 13 mm and specify the angle of 45 mm as per our drawing now select these two edges now click on ok now our jumper is created and also our component is now created okay hide all the sketches lines or planes that's it class this is SOLIDWORKS exercise first of 3d modeling we will see some other components also in upcoming videos so if you like our today's video tutorial then like share and subscribe our logic designs youtube channel for latest updated design videos and tips and tricks in AutoCAD as well as Starbucks. So see you in the next video. Till then stay tuned. Thank you.